Okay, so in this video, we want to review a basic property of exponents, which is the following. So if we have x to the m times x to the n, the result can be combined under a single base as x to the m plus n. And this is true for any two real numbers m and n. And if you think about why this is very intuitive, in the case where m and n are positive integers, by definition, x to the m is m x is multiplied together, and by definition, x to the n is n x is multiplied together. So what we have here is m x's times n x's, so we have a total of m plus n x's. And to make this more concrete, let's look at a special example, where m is 2 and n is 3. So if you have x squared, times x cubed. Well, let's expand both exponents. x squared is x times x. x cubed is x times x times x. And quite obviously, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's, which is by definition x to the 5. And now you ask, well, how do we obtain 5 from 2 and 3? Well, the answer is obvious. It is 2 plus 3. So whenever you multiply two expressions that have the same base, no matter what the exponents are, you can combine the product under a single base by simply adding up the two exponents. Now, this is true, as I've said before, for any choice of real numbers for m and n. If you forget this property, you can easily rederive it, or at least verify it with a simple choice of exponents, 2 and 3. And let's do one more example where we take fractional exponents. So if you had, say, the square root of x times the cube root of x. Well, the first step, and again, assuming we want to regroup as a single power of x, the first step is to replace each root by an exponent. So the square root is an exponent of 1 half. The cube root is an exponent of 1 third. So now we are multiplying two powers of x. We can regroup by adding up the exponents. This will be x to the 1 half plus 1 third. And simplifying by putting under a common denominator, we have 3 plus 2, 5 over 2 times 3, 6. So this is x to the 5 over 6. And that's it. 